Lee Cuellar back again with Allison Blake from Boise, Idaho. And apparently it's a frosty morning in Boise. How are you doing there, Allison? Good. Well, we <laughs> today. And the day before it was 65 degrees. So we're not sure what's happening today. Cloudy. <laughs> so <laughs> amazing. I know. <laughs> Amazing. So what can you tell us what's happening in the Boise market this month? Well, it's surprising. We thought that the Boise market was going to go way down with the interest rates because interest rates are climbing up toward 5%. Um, but this month, from February to March, we went up $25,000. So we are up to five seventy five dollars on resale homes in Boise. Um, so the average price of a home is five seventy five. dollars and for that, that gets you a pretty nice home. Uh, can get you, <coughs> excuse me, can get you a four bedroom, two bath. Depending on where you buy, it can get you up to an acre of land. So we're at 575 and that's in Ada County. And in Canyon County, we're up to 452. And that's up 18,000 since last month. We had a little bit of a blip in the market in December, and we were down in both counties six thousand dollars. But now we're recovering, which is a little a little funny because the interest rates have climbed up. So we don't know what's uh, going to happen next month. We only have six hundred homes on the market in our in Ada County, which is quite large. It comprises of Boise, Eagle Star, Middleton, many many towns. And then in Canyon County, we only have 400 houses on the market. So our inventory is limited. What we're seeing, though, is with offers, we're seeing a lot less. Um, we're seeing fewer multiple offers, and we're seeing fewer offers coming in with appraisal gaps, which means that they bring in extra money if the property does not appraise. So we're seeing things appraise, and we are getting less offers. Wow. Well, you're still, but it, you're still getting, you're still seeing value increases, which is great. Uh, I read an article recently about just in general in the United States, the second home market is suffering, you know, uh, because of the lack of inventory, because of in interest rates, et cetera. And I don't know if you're going to, if you're going to, to see that uh, in Boise and the, the various counties there or not. Uh, but it's nice to know that you're, that you're getting, that you're still getting, uh, valuation increases. That's great. Right. So in McCall, Idaho, which is about two hours away, which is our biggest affordable second market uh, second for vacation homes, we have seen increases up there of 50, up to 45% over the past six months. So that vacation market is not decreasing. In fact, my daughter bought a home up there for six hundred thousand in November, and it's now worth nine hundred. <laughs> you poor thing! <laughs> wow. As as far as new businesses coming in, I mean, there's a lot of restaurants. We're getting a lot lot of restaurants. Two New York based restaurants um, moved to uh, Boise, and uh, their downtown. And then um, Whole Foods is trying to expand in different markets here. We are going to get that great hamburger chain uh, from California, in and out yes. <laughs> so that people, comes... people lose their minds when they know oh. when they hear in and outs coming to town. <laughs> and that is going in Meridian, which is the center of the valley. And then, um, of course, Boise is growing out toward the Oregon border. Now, we're only an hour from Oregon. Um, and actually, Idaho is trying to incorporate part of Oregon because Oregon is very liberal and Idaho is not as liberal. So Idaho is trying to swallow up some of Oregon. So we'll see how that goes. But for right now, um, for right now, uh, as you mentioned, there's a new extreme pizza going out toward Melba, which Melba is a farm town right on the Oregon border. So it's pretty surprising. All the little farm towns are really growing. Um, the prices are increasing. I just sold a home in Payette, which is by the about 10 minutes from Oregon. And it was 250,000 and there's nothing 
since I've sold that home last month, there's nothing that's under 250 now. So people are moving out. Yeah. A little interesting fact about the relocation business in Boise. Where do you think the most people have relocated to our area? Which state? Uh, I'm, my guess is California. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> the third the third most uh, people coming in. Utah is the second state and Idaho is the first state. So we are seeing most of the people that are buying in Idaho are actually from different parts of Idaho, which really translates to a very strong economy for our area. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought that was really, I would not have guessed that. Wow. I'm thinking that, in, you know, I think that it's it's a necessity for people to move farther from population centers to, right. to afford to afford more house. <clears throat> I have a a family that's moving from Eagle Rock, which the average the average smaller home in Eagle Rock is selling for a thousand dollars a square foot. God. And the community that they're moving to. Uh, in the Inland Empire in Riverside County is about $440 a square foot, which is still a huge gain over one, two, and five years ago. Right. Right. But they're going to get, they're going to get two and a half to three times the size of home right. for less than half the, the expense, you know, right. and they just, they happen to have family out there. Their, their, ex, their family's expanding with children, et cetera. Uh, but it is it is amazing to see the contrast, and you should have seen the look on their faces when we looked at market analysis, like uh -huh. what their what their home is worth here versus what they're going to get for half of that price, which they right. can now pay cash for, by the way. Right, and so we're seeing that too. We're seeing actually for the first time in about five years, the last four listings that I've taken, uh, they are all moving out of state and buying homes out of state, like in the South. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, there's some movement in the market. We're not really sure what's going to happen with these interest rates. Um, so far, the second market, second home market has not suffered here. It's gone way up. Um, so we're just kind of, you know, in a holding pattern to see what happens. There are some signs that the market is slowing down a little bit. Well, a little bit, <clears throat> a fewer or less offers, you know, if you're not getting as many offers on every property, maybe it's not, maybe <clears throat> people are not getting as much over their asking price as they were in the in previous months. Let exactly. me ask you, is there, uh, there's a seasonality in Idaho and in Boise specifically, is that right? There is. The slowest month here is August. August. So as an investor, would it behoove me, should I like look in June, July? to get June. a feel for the market and then buy in August if I wanted to do that? Exactly. August is a very hot month here. We get about two weeks where it's about 101 or 102 um, and it doesn't break. So it's very hot. People sort of slow down. Schools start here in August because we are on the farm calendar still. Right. Um, so we don't have a lot of people moving then. Yep. So, That's yeah. good to know. Yeah, August is, is a great month to buy here. <laughs> <laughs> and do you see that, do you see that in over, uh, on average, there's less units being sold in August? Yes. Right, because of that seasonality. But as an investor, if I know, if I know a commodity is less right. expensive in a certain time of year, then that's when I'll go and buy it. Right, now this year, sense. December would have been the good year to buy. <laughs> good month. <laughs> Yeah, five forty six for the average home, and now we're up to five seventy five. So that's right. So when's the best time to plant a tree? Right, twenty years ago. Right. When, when's the second best time? Now. Right. And boy, it would be thirty years ago because it takes a really long time for a tree to grow. <laughs> oh, pig! Everybody's a critic. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome well uh, Allison anything else before we wrap up no I think that we we're just going to kind of wait and see it'll be interesting to see what our statistics come out in April great 
Well, thanks so much for your time. I sure appreciate it. And yeah. we'll check in with you next month. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about any of the cities that we talk about on the show, just drop us a DM, give us a call, send us an email. It's your choice.